You fought, fought uh, Mark Coleman at UFC 100. Uh, were you a fan of Mark Coleman at all growing up? Hell yeah. In college at Purdue, we'd get the pay-per-views, and there'd be Coleman on there, and the hammer smashing everyone. And it's just like, look at this guy. Holy shit. Fucking so strong, you know, Olympic wrestler. So yeah, um, definitely was a fan of Coleman. Yeah, I mean, at that time, like back at Purdue, what, like... 10, 11 years earlier, however long it was, like, if uh, at that time, you'd come to me and say, oh, you're going to be fighting him in someday, like, 12 years, and be like, no way, <laughs> like, I never, yeah, yeah, right, and all of a sudden, yeah, there I am, in the coma, uh, and it was a good fight, like, uh, he did what he had to do, so uh, I, I had him in a good, he was so strong, I had him in a, he went for a single leg a counter with a crucifix, and that's my move, you know? And it's your hips against his grip. And, you know, and I had it, and I just, he hip in, and I break people's grip, and then I get this rich. Like, I break everyone's grip. And the fucker was so strong. It's, it was like his hands were cemented together. I was like popping my hips so hard and could not break it. I just spent the whole first round cracking him with elbows. And he has pig skin, man. Like, fuck, that fucker wouldn't cut. Like, man, I would have. Uh, you see what happened to me? And then, yeah, like, uh, I was like, doing good in the second round. Yeah, and I had a dream that I, like, uh, stopped him with a spinning back kick. And I had set one up. He was open for it. And I just threw the hardest spinning back kick. And it just grazed right past him. And then my hips were way in on him. Gets a takedown. And right away, I go for that shoulder lock from the guard that Frank Mir tapped Pete Williams out with, this one. And mm, like this. And he cracks me with his other elbow. And, and I'm still going for it. And then I feel the blood coming down. I'm like, oh, shit, I bail on that. And then that fight, too, you know? Like, if you look, he's defending my game. Uh, I'm, I was, you know, I was attacking off my back. I was striking good. I was shooting up shit. Um, and he was pretty much defending. And that third round, he, you know, he worked the first couple minutes of that round really hard, got that takedown, and just held on for dear life. Uh, and time, I finally reversed him, got back on top right as time expired, and lose a two round to one decision. So, oh well. What's your opinion on people that say some of his pride fights may have been uh, a little questionable? Like a work? Yeah. No, really just the footlock against um, Takata. I did definitely threw that fight, but other than that, I think there's other fights he really didn't like, you know, he kind of... Matt Hughes has said this about himself too. Like, there's some fights that he kind of goes in, like, feeling deep on the inside, like he's not going to win. And it doesn't go his way. He said something crazy, like, I've never, um, I've never lost a fight I didn't want to. Something like that. And then I, you see Coleman kind of has been like that too, where he just doesn't go for it. But I mean, come on, guys with like, like when he's in there with Fedor, you know, he, you know, he just kind of collected a paycheck. Um, but Coleman, a lot of people don't realize this. Um, the year he won the world championships, beat the shit out of Kurt Angle. Oh, really? Smoked him, this. yeah. So he just had a, when did he get like six in the Olympics? He just had a bad, that's how wrestling is. Some days you're just on, you know? And, and you just have your days and you shine. And you just have like, like he had the world. So you just killed everyone. And then, you know, some days, I don't know, well, rough, cut, travels, whatnot, and and you don't do as good. So he just didn't perform at the Olympics like he was capable of. But still, six in the Olympics, you're 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 a stud.